Raise your hand if you want to ride bikes. We just found out that today is the International Day of Gratitude. So we want to say thank you so much to every single one of you for being followers and viewers and friends and participants and family and keeping us going through the hard times and cheering us on through the fun times. Yeah. I'm really grateful to be here with you, to be able to take two months to do this, to meet so many wonderful people along the road, to discover my country in a new and exciting way, to be able to eat bean burritos all the time. <laughs> we also want to say thank you to Jocelyn at Trek for hooking us up with these bikes. They are amazing. We're loving them. Today is also the summer solstice, the longest day of the year. And I love the solstice because I know my friends in Sweden are partying it up, dancing around the Maypole. And summer is my favorite time of year. So this is, uh, this is one of those days where it's like, yeah, this is the day you look forward to when it's the winter equinox and it's like dark at 4 p.m. And you're like, ah, oh, this sucks. <laughs> Can't wait till the summer solstice. And now it's here. I'm really grateful that I get to spend the longest day of the year with you. Me too. On our way into this town called John Day, there was a big billboard, the only billboard, and it was for Dairy Queen. And I immediately thought, blizzards. And look, just like the commercial, so thick it doesn't fall out. Maybe it wasn't the best idea to eat a large blizzard right in the middle of the day, but I don't care. That was so good. Powered by ice cream today. We are in Prairie City and we're about to go grab some nachos. We found, I think, the only Mexican restaurant in like at least a hundred mile radius here. Um, and today is a really special day for me, the solstice. And every solstice, every equinox, my family goes and shares giant plates of nachos. Happy solstice! Happy solstice! Happy solstice, Mom and Leah and Shiloh and Jesse and Wyatt and everybody else, all the 18 million other family members who I love very dearly. Hey! The best way to burn off a blizzard and a plate of nachos is going uphill. And that's what we're doing. Slowly, slowly, slowly. So earlier today I taught Allie one of my favorite Swedish midsummer songs. And midsummer is always on the solstice. Let's do it. One, two, three. Small grew, then a small grew, then a elustiga at say. Okay, I guess that's hard to sing a song when you're going uphill and you can't breathe. We'll do this later. There she goes. Your butt's getting tighter, I can see it. Look at that booty. We ran ourselves into quite the mountain here. I had no idea we were going up this much. That's one of the things, I guess one of the consequences of not having like a guide or a map. We don't really know the topography. The little blue line on Google doesn't tell you that. We're on top of Dixie Pass, 5277. I'm looking forward to this moment all trip. Let's celebrate with a kiss. I feel very fortunate. I usually don't get to the kiss a beautiful girl on these bike tours. Usually I'm alone and I'm kissing my own salty lips. This is much better. I think we got pretty lucky the last few nights being next to a full-size river. Now we're next to a little babbling brook. We're still gonna get wet, but it's, you know, not quite as ideal as the other situations. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Since it is midsummer, and I've been teaching Ali the small frog song in Swedish. It's my favorite Swedish midsummer song, Smogru. We are gonna dance around that tree, which is our maypole. And glad midsummer to all mina kompisari Sveria. This is a beautiful day. I love it. I love sunlight. You ready for this, Ali? Ooh, ah, ah, ooh, ah, ah, ooh, ah, ah, ooh, ah, 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 ah
Well, you have been on some adventures together. What's some like specific adventure advice? Like when it gets hard or frustrating, or what do you? How do you get through those situations? Well, marry a psychologist. <laughs> Defer to her. Yay. Yay. No, I think you just have to be positive. Hmm. She's always positive. So that's good for me. I, I, I can be a downer. I mean, I can, when things go rough, I, it can get on my, you know, I can, it gets me down a little bit. But she's always the upbeat person. So it's good for me. And what do you do when he's getting down? How do you process that and keep yourself positive? Nice. Just be a, a bit patient, not patient, mm -hmm. patient. Yeah, yeah. patient, and give him some time, give him a little bit of space, <laughs> yeah, and then, then maybe just point it out in a nice way that he's not being very nice. <laughs> this is the stern look that she gave us. <laughs> <laughs> what have been some of the best parts of traveling together? We've I mean, we've never done it. Like, hmm. well, what what do you love about doing these hard things together? Just sharing memories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Life is about. I think life is about you know uh, adventure and uh, the journey. I think what he has a lot of humor. It is a very good thing. Yeah. <laughs> Not mm -hmm. taking things too seriously. And uh, for right now, we're just planning one day at a at a time and. Uh, it's great. We're just enjoying our, you know, every 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 moment. Like you said, enjoying life and mm. not take it for granted, mm -hmm. because you never know. So, yeah, and, and that means also enjoying spending time together and being nice to each other. Happy, Happy Solstice! Breakfast of champions, jelly, peanut butter, Nutella, beans, pineapples. Yeah. You ready to ride bikes, girl? Oh yeah, I was born ready. All right, here we go, another day on the road. Going east, let's do it. Look at that field. It's a field of dreams right there. We're the only ones. On this lonely road All right, Allie, do we go left or do we go right? That is the question. We are in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> we go in the direction of unity. Unity. That's east. That's east. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Brian and I met four months ago, so we decided to ride across the country and collect love advice oh. from people we met along the way. Love advice. Yeah. yeah. You got any advice for a beautiful relationship? <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you what. I've had not very good luck in mine, <laughs> so I can't give you very good advice. That's all right. The main thing is to keep God in your life. Mm. That's, That's my advice. Right. Keeps the heart strong. Exactly. Keep the heart strong. Keep God in your life. What kind of advice do you have, Big Sue? Hmm? Oh, give Just cuddle. Kisses. Her advice is cuddle, cuddle as much as you can. <laughs> That's her advice for sure. Yeah. <laughs> How many people live in this area? Oh, Unity, I think the population is about 72, 3, something like that. So that's the last I heard anyway. I haven't counted. <laughs> no, there's hardly no uh, uh, phone service, you know. Hmm. Very little. I get internet because it comes by cable. So, yeah, pretty much everybody's farming, ranching. Used to be a lot of logging, it's not there anymore. It's some forest service. Do you see people moving into the community much? Oh, not a lot. There's nothing here. It's just not too popular for young people. You know, young people like a little more lights and a little more whatever. The population, would you say it's shrunk since you moved oh, here? Oh yeah, my yeah. <laughs> Our school used to have about almost 200 kids. Now we got about six. Wow. It's a pretty big school for six kids. It's unbelievable. Not many schools have a cattle guard on the way in. <laughs> Hey 
cows, what's up? You know, I've never really listened to the sound of cows eating grass. This is something I definitely am enjoying about this ride is stopping and slowing down and just listening to things that I usually don't hear when you're, when you're in, shh, quiet! Listening to things that you usually don't hear when you're in a car or something. We have just rolled into the town of Brogan, which makes me smile because my brother's name is Logan. <laughs> and we are gonna stay the night at this little RV camp lot. Interesting spot right off the road. They have hookups, they have pop machines, and uh, everything we need for 10 bucks. The soda machine is functioning. Look at that, is it cold? Oh yeah, it is. You are so nice. I, th I said, they're out there mm. just to get some snacks. Stacy is very sweet. She brought us cold oranges. These have been in the refrigerator. And we need fruit because we're eating mostly <laughs> ice cream and grilled cheese. Guess what it's time for? And these are special ones, spicy jalapeno. Saturday morning, we're leaving the RV park here in Brogan. These people here have been awesome. Yeah, we were only here one night, but we know like six of the people here. A wonderful lady named Rosalinda brought us dinner last night. And oh, this is a crazy thing. It was sunny till past 10 p.m. We crossed into the mountain time zone. And then we woke up here and it sounded like a jungle. Yeah, a lot of birds here. Buddy, get across the street. Go across the road. Go, go, go. Don't get run over. Yeah, you made it. You're free. So it's pretty windy out here. All the plants are bent sideways. But today, that is a good thing because it is a tailwind and we are cruising so fast. It is very rare in the bike touring world where you have an exact tailwind. We woke up with about 100 miles to get from here to Boise which is way further than we've been riding. And I wouldn't have even considered riding 100 miles, but today, I think we can do it. Allie, are you ready for your first century ride? Is there gonna be ice cream at the end? There's gonna be some serious ice cream. So let's do it! a people for bike sticker on this pipeline all right we are 50 miles in being powered by bean burritos Allie how you feel feeling great we have big news ladies and gentlemen we made it to a new state Idaho <laughs> Thank you very much, Oregon. We loved you. Yay! Yay! All right, Allie, 60 miles down, 40 to go. 70 miles down, wind is still at our back. Allie, how you doing? Doing great, Ryan. Yay! Yeah! 80 miles down, Allie. I just don't think I can make it go on without me. Ha. Mile 90, the American flag is blowing like crazy. We still have a tailwind. Allie? Saying go onward. Quick dip in the river. Yeah. <laughs> we conveniently mapped our last stop at an ice cream shop. Allie just rode 100 miles. How do you feel? I feel great. Super excited to eat this ice cream. It was surprisingly easy because mostly the wind just pushed us the whole way and I think it was a little bit downhill. But I'm gonna take it anyway. <laughs> 
Here is a pro tip. If you ever want to ride 100 miles, make sure the end point is at an ice cream shop. <laughs>